Welcome back. Uh, it is now time to do routing. We will do uh, manual routing because KiCad doesn't have uh, an automated uh, routing algorithm. It's good to know though uh, that there are uh, routing tools out there that could be used to, to do uh, automated uh, routing for, for us. That would involve exporting uh, this layout, uh, importing that into that uh, third-party routing tool, and then exporting that and bringing it back here. Uh, th this is a bit too complex for such a simple circuit. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to uh, uh, learn and play a little bit with uh, the manual routing features of uh, KiCad. Uh, so let's just uh, go ahead and uh, route uh, all the nets one by one uh, in any particular order you would like and um, see if we can uh, do it without uh, the need to uh, move around uh, components. Uh, so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, route, for instance, uh, this uh, RTS net. First, uh, let me route it this way. Uh, I can zoom in a bit and uh, that's it, uh, that net. Let me now route, for example, this pin to that pin. Uh, but because this is a VCC and that I would like to use the ticker track. Uh, so I'll select that one. Okay, select it. Uh, and uh, do this routing like so. I can also uh, route this. Well, I don't like it, so I'll put the Ctrl Z and uh, do it this way. So uh, let's just continue to do this uh, one by one until we're uh, done. So here I have a uh, situation where I need to route this uh, pin, this resistor to this uh, pin uh, of the FCDA chip. However, I want to start on the bottom layer here and uh, end up here uh, on the top layer. For that, we'll need a uh, VIA. Uh, so uh, let me start at this. Uh, location, I wrote it uh, like this, arrive here uh, and uh, here uh, hit V for here and then uh, place it like so. After that, uh, to continue from there on the top layer, uh, I will just uh, change layers and route it this way. And this way uh, you see how exactly we can insert VS to change uh, layers uh, to be able to route. Uh, well, let's this is uh, what I arrived at after I uh, finished routing uh, all the nets. There are a couple of things that I still need to do and the first one is to uh, set all the edge cuts um, to a thinner size here. thing uh, that we want to do is to add a uh, field zone is to add a field uh, zone uh, typically on the bottom layer and uh, attach that associate that with the uh, ground net so uh, let's do that uh, start in this corner I'll associate it with the uh, ground okay and then let's uh, select uh, the entire area of uh, the board um, and select it and um, fill this one. There you go. And this way we have filled uh, the entire bottom layer or PCB board with uh, this zone and attach that to the ground. Uh, this is good for um, electromagnetic and, and noise uh, properties. So uh, let's save and uh, we'll uh, go next to 
essentially exporting uh, Gerber file. Uh, just go and uh, select uh, file fabrication outputs. Gerbers uh, will need to uh, keep uh, front, bottom, F, uh, bottom, paste, uh, pretty much everything that is already selected here by default. We'll also want to uh, generate the drill files. Uh, let's uh, generate and save everything into a separate folder called Gerber files and uh, I think we're okay to keep everything here by default so generate real file close and, and then um, also uh, generate all of these Gerber files by hitting plot uh, so um, we're pretty much uh, done uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, check them out. Okay, let's see the Gerber files. They should be uh, saved uh, in this uh, new folder. I see them all there. Uh, we can actually take a look uh, at them with uh, this Gerber viewer tool that, that uh, KiCad tool has. So let's open it up. File, open Gerber plot, select them all. Let's take a, a, a look. And uh, as you can see here, um, they look seem to be looking okay. We can now select this one by one and uh, see what is what on what layer. Okay. Uh, let's also take a look at the um, the real files. Uh, they look okay as well as you see here for the four uh, standoffs mounting holes uh, the VS here and the other holes for the USB connector and so on and so on so um, they seem to be okay uh, so now uh, what's left for us is to uh, zip all of this into a zip file and uh, have it uh, ready as a uh, zip uh, file that will upload to uh, Oshpark or a JLC PCB uh, manufacturer 